Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm Wicked. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Telerik's Flamethrower and the Flamethrower. We are going to check out how to craft it, where you can get it, and what it needs, and what it can do. So I have a few friends in front of me, but first we're going to look at what can you put on it. Now, I have tested out some of the mods and you can put a large tank or a small tank on it. The small tank brings you up to 179 in the ammo slot here and the big tank brings you up quite a bit to 200 and something. Now these tanks right here that come with the mod itself are for color changing so first we're going to look at what it does without those tanks so let's load up so with the large tank you get 239 and you get your regular yellow fire now we're going to switch over to here and we're going to add Let's try this out and see what it does. First you have blue fire. And it does add a debuff. You just have to find the sweet spot because it will decrease at a certain point. Your first attack will start a debuff giving a growing damage over time effect. The longer you burn the enemy, the more damage it will do up to a point over time. This effect will slowly come down. So finding the sweet spot of burning and allowing the cool off is where you're going to be most efficient with it. Now, it does do 300 damage to wood. We will go over its stats in a minute. I'm just going to show you what the rest what the rest of these look like. Here's the green one. And here is the pink tank. There goes one. And here is the dark tank. Shut up. That's pretty cool. I like that. Interesting. Okay. Now, you will need a schematic to be able to craft this item. Once you find the schematic, you can craft it and it is affected by the demolition expert perk increases the crafting quality so yeah reload now let's look at its that this one is only a tier 5 so range is 1.5 Block damage is 15.5, fuel capacity to 39 because we have that large tank on it, attack per minute is 304, and max durability is 4305. Now you can find the schematic and you can buy the schematic, you can also find the let flamethrower within loot or buy it so right now we're going to learn the schematic really fast and then i will take it over to my workbench and we'll look at this 
it takes one minute and 16 seconds to craft you're going to need 10 short iron pipes eight mechanical parts 10 oil four duct tape and five forged iron to craft it and this will go up as your skill in demolition will go up which is here under the perception tree so each time you put a point into it the tear will raise so that's pretty much it for this mod it's quite interesting something fun to play with if you want a new tool new weapon to mess around with definitely fun i really like the colors now you can let them cool off and see what happens and they'll gradually The debuff will gradually take them out. Now, if you continue, yes, but you are running out of fuel. And there you go. This guy and this guy, this guy, I'll have debuff on them. You can't see it, but they have it. There goes one. So, main thing is you're gonna have to find a sweet spot for the damage to be where it needs to be. Here we go. Okay, so all in all, very fun toy and very, very easy to craft. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I will be dropping the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself and show the creator some love. So if you enjoyed this little walkthrough, let me know down in the comments if you like videos like this and little tutorials. And give that like button a love tap, share, subscribe, become part of the Wicked family so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.